Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and I'm so glad that you stopped in. Hit the like button if you like and subscribe. It does help my channel and I appreciate it so very much. Thank you so much and to all my subscribers I already have, you're a blessing. Thank you so much. Well, Joe Biden's stomach dropped when he heard what the CEO of Kraft Heinz told CNN about the economy. Yeah, Joe Biden assured the American people that inflation would only be a short-term problem. When that lie blew up in the real time, Biden then tried to blame it all on Val Valdemar Putin's invasion of Ukraine and greedy American oil company executives. Oh my goodness. After Democrats experienced a brief summer momentum boost in midterm polling, the political atmosphere had apparently begun to shift back to Republicans' favor. With less than two weeks left until the midterm elections, which this is late getting posted, because uh, midterms was today, it looks likely that Republicans will pick up enough seats on November 8th to regain control of the U.S. House, while taking back the Senate will still require strong turnouts in key battleground states. The economy and inflation are the top concerns of midterm voters, with a new poll showing over 75% of Americans are very concerned about inflation, particularly rising food prices. Overall, prices have surged by 8.2% over the past year. That's a lot. That's not good. <clears throat> Grocery store prices have soared by 13% compared to just one year ago, while the price of gas skyrocketed by nearly 20%. Yeah, I heard or, or something from a YouTuber or something that they paid over $4 for a dozen eggs. We're paying almost $3 a dozen for a dozen eggs. Used to be a dollar, what, dollar twenty-nine? Dollar thirty, something like that. Well, they said someday we'd be paying ten dollars for a loaf of bread. I make homemade bread, so that ain't gonna hurt me none. And during an interview with CNN Business's Kraft Heinz CEO Magul Patricio. Patricio delivered a gut punch to President Joe Biden. Patrico Patricio, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. If you're listening or watching or something, please forgive me. <laughs> okay, Patricio, and it's P A T R I C I O. Patricio. Patricio doesn't see an end to skyrocketing inflation supply chain issues any time in the foreseeable future. That's not good for us, is it? We've already increased the prices that we were expecting this year, but I'm predicting that next year inflation will continue and as a consequence we will have other rounds of price increases. Well, sure we will, Patricio said. Patricio said the company had no choice but to raise prices by 12.4% a few months ago due to the rising cost of tomatoes and other supplies necessary for production. Every day we have a new problem, Patricio said. It's the new normal. It seems that way, doesn't it? It sure does. I gotta remember to look at the camera instead of looking at my thing all the time. <laughs> at the beginning we thought it was a crisis. Now. We know it as a new normal, and we have to adapt to that, he continued, adding that every day there's a shortage of something. But Turquio is not alone with his gloomy economic prediction. No, he's not. We're all with him. A recent KPMG survey of America's CEOs found 91% of those surveyed believe there is a recession looming. Oh, yes. I would kind of think we're in it right now. But on October 15th, while eating ice cream, yeah, I remember this one, President Biden outrageously declared that the economy was strong as hell. Remember that? <laughs> Joe Biden claims he is running for a second term in 2024. 
But if Democrats lose control of Congress in two weeks, Biden will be a lame duck president for the next two years. I don't even want to see the next two years. Do you? Leave me a comment. I appreciate it. That combined with economic recession could all but guarantee Joe Biden has no choice but to step aside in 2024. Stay tuned. There'll be more updates on this story. Yes. <clears throat> I don't know. But he says what people want him to say. I think we've all figured that part out now, haven't we? I think so. Let's try this one here. I'm cleaning up my desktop. Yes, I had some left over from, from last night. And um, I don't know what this is all about. What the heck is wrong with Biden's hand? And that's a question. Headline here. On Tuesday, Joe Biden made an appearance at a fundraiser for Charlie Crist, the Democratic nominee for governor of Florida. The event took place in Golden Beach, Florida, after an awful confrontation with Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz, Democrat of Florida, during which he committed a number of errors, as we disclose here and here, in the midst of a festival of confusion. He claimed that his son had been killed in Iraq, that he had forgotten what the acronym F-E-M-A stands for. Well, that's FEMA. That he had confused Iraq with Ukraine and that he had a con conversation with the inventor of insulin, and I did a video on that earlier. This is when the confusion really started to take root. He discussed the assault on Paul Pelosi while he was there as well. Ah, I don't think Biden's one that opened the door for, so the police could come in. Do you? Biden lied when he said there was no one in the top ranks of the Republican Party had denounced the assault. That is simply untrue. Many have stated otherwise, including Senator Ted Cruz, President Donald Trump, who termed it terrible. The Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell, Republican of Kentucky, Republican of Texas, additionally, he attacked those who he said were making up jokes about the attack. Biden said, referring to Republicans, these guys are extremely extreme. And Paul Pelosi's name was misspelled when Biden previously discussed him. Joe Biden just called Paul Pelosi or Paul Pelosi, Bobby. Joe Biden just called Paul Pelosi, Bobby. And I had to stop and think about that. Was that his middle name, possibly? Paul Bobby Pelosi? Or is Biden just kind of whatever, you know, just not ready to catch up on information yet? Oh boy, I tell you, I don't know. God love him. You know, uh, like I stated in another video, and I have stated in a lot of videos that, you know, my heart goes out to the people that have suffered from lack of memory, Alzheimer's, dementia. You know, my heart goes out to them. That's a terrible, terrible way to live. Uh, but from the account of the event, that wasn't the main point that caught people's attention. Instead, it was the image. Along with the story the Hill posted, the image appeared to be from the occasion because Biden was wearing the same tie and setting, and the setting was the same. You can see two wounds on his hand in the enlarged image by clicking on it. Well, I've never done that. A larger and smaller wound that is only p partially healed. 
Okay, Biden's rips GOP over Paul Pelosi's jokes. Oh, I see. I see now. And he also has something on his nose. Like he had been hit. Or maybe he fell. I see now. And there's no thumb. It, unless it's hid, you know, like you hide your thumb back. But there's a red, a red mark from here to here. And there's a, another mark, wait a minute, on the back of the hand. Let me get in the camera. And it's going to, like, well, I'm confused here. It's coming down right, about right there. And it goes down. Yeah, it goes down. Something. I never noticed that before. Now, I don't know. Typically... Now, typically, blood is drawn from medium curvatal vein, curvatal vein in the artic cubital fossus, fossa, F-O-S-S-A, during a blood draw, the crevice of the elbow. What is going on with those hand wounds, then? Many people believe they resemble the IV injection locations. Well, like, that could be an IV, but on the back of the hand, but then why is the, the scar going down this way? It shouldn't be going that way. And, and the deal with the thumb on the back, let me show you. Well, I don't know. I'm right, left, whatever. Is running, ouch, I can't really do that with the arthritis, but it's just like that. And it's running down in the front that way. Like it might have been broken possibly or something. And then he's got a mark up here on his nose. Well, bless his heart. Hmm. And the crevice of the elbow. Well, I don't notice the elbow. You can't see the elbow. Not making a diagnosis here. But those marks on Mr. Biden's hand do resemble the residue of punctures. Usually blood drawings are done from the antecubical inside of the elbow vein. Yes, that's what they do mine. Intravenous lines are often inserted in the hand. Yeah, intravenous goes in the hand. They draw blood from the middle of the elbow. You know, I have to show them where my vein is all the time because it's just right underneath the skin. And if I don't tell them that, they'll take that needle and they'll get it in there and, oh, they dig and they dig and they dig and they dig. <laughs> I said, I told you, it's right under the skin. Oh, you're right. You're right. We got it. <clears throat> you know what you feel like doing, but you just can't do it. <laughs> you just kind of grin and say, I told you so. Mm, my goodness. What are they injecting in, into his hand? Well, it could be a lot of medication. I mean, you know, uh, I used to get B12 shots. But that would usually go in my shoulder. It could be uh, maybe uh, glucose. He may be low on sugar. It could be a lot of things. I could think of a million things, but there have been numerous rumors in the past of Biden receiving medication to assist him. Joe Biden, however, has not made any comments on it. John Fetterman and Joe Biden appear to have a lot in common. They both have congenitive problems for various causes, but neither is open about what those problems entail. Well, that's their health. That's their privacy, actually. You know, that's one thing about being in the public eye. I wouldn't like it. I mean, every little tidbit. You know, every little thing the reporter's got to know. Every little thing. And it's concerning to their privacy. 
which I don't think the press and everybody needs to know about. It's their privacy. It just don't make sense to me, but that's the news for you. And I love the news, but then reporters can get right down nitpicky, you know. However, this is bringing up those issues once more, and many are now requesting an explanation of the markings from the Biden's campaign. Some have hip hypothesized, hypothesized that it had to do with the medication Biden was taking for his congenitive issues. Well, that could be. We don't know. You know, most of us don't. We're not physicians. You know, I was a bedpan handler for about 30 years. <laughs> but I worked in all sections, though. I worked on surgical floor. I worked in obstetrics. I worked in the delivery room. Oh, yes, I did it pretty much all of it. Pictures from Biden's meeting with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and New York Governor Kathy Hochul on October 27th previously available, were previously available. For a larger view, click the image. The second smaller wound doesn't seem to be vis visible in those photos. The extra era of American manufacturing is going to be right here in New York. Welcome back to New York. Well, that would be nice. I want to see every state pick up pretty soon. Well, the guys who routinely lied to our faces provide us with an honest response. I have my doubts, but let's wait and hear what they have to say. If Corrine Jean-Pierre, I love saying that word, ooh, a little Frenchy, eh? The White House press secretary is questioned about it by Peter Ducey of Fox News and someone else. The effort required to spin might be incredible. Yeah, it might be, but um, uh, bless his heart, you know, it's, uh, it's really pretty sad. And you know, getting those intravenous uh, feedings and those uh, blood just drawn all the time, you know, that's not, that's not um, a happy thing. It ain't happy for me <laughs> unless they do it right away and do where I tell them to hit the vein, then it's okay. I can handle it. But once they get in there and they start digging around with that needle and they miss the vein, but they just keep digging. <laughs> oh, well, maybe they just don't like me. Oh, well. Uh, and that's known, you know, we can't like everybody and everybody can't like us. So that's okay. <laughs> All right, people. I'm going to go for now. And I'm going to get a couple more going here. And I will be back. And it won't be too much longer. Okay. And give somebody a blessing. Because you are so blessed. Be right back. <laughs>